The recent intensification of hostilities between the United States and the Hothi rebels in the Red Sea, alongside the subsequent engagement between Hezbollah and Israel, marks a significant downturn in the Middle East's security environment. This escalation extends beyond the enduring conflict between Israel and Hamas, bringing into the fray a broader coalition of allies from both sides, further complicating the geopolitical landscape of the area. The resurgence of hostilities between Israel and Hezbollah, the Lebanon-based militant faction, mirrors the aggressive actions of the Houthi rebels in Yemen. Hezbollah has intensified its attacks against the Israel Defense Forces stationed along the tense Israel-Lebanon border. These bold moves have elicited a strong retaliation from Israel, underscoring the precarious state of peace in the region. In a notable escalation, Israel has ramped up its counteroffensive measures by utilizing unmanned aerial vehicles to execute a precision strike on a vehicle, allegedly carrying a high-ranking Hezbollah military commander and a Hamas official in the vicinity of Nabatia, merely 22 miles away from Lebanon's capital. The aftermath of this strike was severe. It critically wounded the Hezbollah commander, ultimately leading to his death while the Hamas official astonishingly survived the assault. This incident has significantly heightened tensions with Hezbollah, a staunch supporter of the Palestinian cause, vehemently denouncing the attack. The group's deep-seated animosity towards Israel, now intensified by the death of its military commander on Lebanese territory, spurred a forceful, retaliatory strike. Hezbollah unleashed a volley of 30 rockets aimed at an IDF base in Ain Saitum, signaling an intensification of the retaliation cycle. Despite the Iron Dome missile defense system's success in intercepting the rockets, there were reports of considerable damage to Israeli military assets. This series of events highlights the volatile and unpredictable nature of the Middle East conflict, where age-old Enmedes and current geopolitical maneuvers are intricately woven together, perpetuating a state of instability in the region. The recent counterattack by Hezbollah, aimed squarely at avenging the loss of one of its top military leaders, was a direct consequence of Israel's aggressive maneuvers in Gaza. This back-and-forth reprisal is part of a broader tapestry of conflict, not isolated to any single clash. Israel's military endeavors against Hezbollah have been persistent, including a significant operation that targeted a vehicle in gandur Iye, southern Lebanon. On. This vehicle was reportedly carrying three high-ranking Hezbollah members. The Israeli government has not shied away from admitting to these strikes on Lebanese ground, stating that drones were used to execute the attack that resulted in the deaths of three key Hezbollah figures. Sharif Sayyid Nasser, Isa Ali Noor Adin, and Hassan Abdel Hussein Ismail. Notably, one of the deceased was believed to be the head of Hezbollah's air force, underscoring the strategic importance of this operation. The motivation behind Israel's targeted attacks is to retaliate against Hezbollah's provocations, including numerous drone incursions into Israeli airspace, one of which audaciously targeted the Northern Command headquarters. The Israeli defense apparatus contends that these three individuals played pivotal roles in planning and executing these drone strikes, with the objective of crippling Hezbollah's ability to launch future drone operations and their by mitigating a considerable security threat to Israel.
This ongoing exchange of hostilities between Israel and Hezbollah has intensified, signaling a mutual resolve to affirm dominance. This escalation adds another layer of complexity to the already tense situation in the Middle East, prompting serious contemplation on the implications of Israel's aggressive military incursions into Lebanese territory. Historically, Israel has been proactive in launching operations within Lebanon, notably striking South Beirut during a high-profile meeting between Hamas and Hezbollah. This aggressive operation led to the deaths of several key Hamas figures, showcasing Israel's assertive approach even as Hezbollah members remained unharmed. Hezbollah's strong denunciation of Israel's actions highlights the long-standing animosity and the intricate network of alliances and rivalries fueling the ongoing conflict in the region. Following the recent strikes, the Prime Minister of Lebanon raised alarms over Israel's actions, suggesting they might drag Lebanon into the Gaza conflict. Israel quickly responded, acknowledging its military actions in the Lebanese capital but refuting the claim that Lebanon was the direct target. Instead, Israel clarified that the strikes aimed to eliminate Hamas operatives who were in Lebanon, indicating a targeted strategy rather than an indiscriminate campaign against Lebanon. Israel's deep-seated hostility towards Hezbollah, a prominent player in Lebanon known for its militant stance against Israel, parallels its enmity towards Hamas. This is evident from Hezbollah's frequent assaults and provocations against Israeli forces stationed along the tense Israel-Lebanon border, reinforcing Israel's determination to counter Hezbollah's threats vigorously. This resolve was notably demonstrated during a heightened phase of conflict between Hamas and Israel, when Hezbollah launched a surprise attack on an Israeli military unit near Al Jarda using advanced missile technology. This attack, marked by its precision and the significant damage it caused, underscores the sophisticated military capabilities Hezbollah possesses, further escalating the stakes in the ongoing confrontation. Hezbollah's tactic of launching missile strikes against Israeli military positions is a strategy they've consistently employed. A striking example of this is their missile attacks on Israeli soldiers in the Sheba Farms area, a region near Lebanon's southern border under Israeli control. In a major escalation, Hezbollah fired three missiles at Israeli forces, leading to significant explosions and the creation of thick smoke over the impacted areas. This method of engagement highlights the ongoing and intense nature of the conflict between Hezbollah and Israel, emphasizing the tangled web of discord that pervades the region. The Israeli Defense Forces, including their armored tanks, have also been direct targets in this enduring conflict, facing attacks from Hezbollah's guided missiles. In one audacious operation, Hezbollah was able to pinpoint an Israeli tank camouflaged in an attempt to move stealthily. Armed with accurate intelligence, Hezbollah launched a guided missile that delivered a high-explosive warhead, completely destroying the armored vehicle. This incident demonstrates the deadly precision and effectiveness of Hezbollah's arsenal. Hezbollah's military actions are not limited to direct engagements with the Israeli military. The group has expanded its operations, launching missile attacks on the Pranit barracks and targeting an Israeli military gathering at Cobra Hill with two missiles. These strategic assaults are part of a broader campaign that has seen Hezbollah's military wing carrying out attacks across various fronts 
including strikes on the Hirbet Miar base, the Al Samaka site, and Ramtha. Beyond these military targets, Hezbollah has also launched attacks on several towns such as Al Taiba, Aita al Shab, Yarun, Umm al Tut, and the Jabal Balad area, causing considerable damage and further intensifying the conflict with Israel. <laughs> Hezbollah's campaign has escalated to include attacks within Israeli borders, such as a notable incident in Metala, where a vehicle was targeted, leading to an explosion and a significant smoke cloud. The nature of the vehicle's occupants, whether civilian or military, was not disclosed, indicating Hezbollah's willingness to extend its operations into Israeli territory. In contrast to Hamas, which has stated its intention to minimize civilian casualties, Hezbollah has taken a more aggressive approach, targeting civilian areas in Israel, especially those close to the southern Lebanese border. These actions, seen as retaliatory for attacks on civilians in southern Lebanon, highlight a significant divergence in operational ethics between Hezbollah and Hamas, with Hezbollah's tactics directly endangering Israeli civilians and exacerbating the regional conflict. <laughs> Israel's defense minister, Yoav Gallant, has acknowledged the rising tensions due to Hezbollah's activities, noting that Israel does not seek a war with Hezbollah in northern Israel. This position reflects a cautious approach, considering Israel's historical readiness to address security threats. Gallant's hesitance may be influenced by a strategic preference to focus on Hamas, avoiding a multi-front conflict that could stretch Israel's military capacities. Nonetheless, the backing of international allies like the United States and the United Kingdom bolsters Israel's position, potentially enabling a more assertive stance against Hezbollah amidst the intricate geopolitical landscape of the Middle East, where strategic considerations and international partnerships are crucial in shaping military and diplomatic responses.